So, good morning. My name is Christina Gibbs and I'm a Stanford student. I'm currently a junior and I'm studying product design. And I thought it would be really interesting to do a video log series on YouTube about what it's like being a Stanford student. So, I guess you'll be getting to know my life and hopefully you'll apply to Stanford or you'll learn more about what it's like being a student. And maybe I'll learn more about what it's like being a student by trying to explain the craziness of Stanford to all of you guys. So, um, this is week five of the quarter and I originally planned to do this video log series week one, but that didn't happen. So I'm just going to rerun through all of the weeks up until week five. So week one of the quarter was actually very stressful because uh, I had to pick classes that I was going to take and they all had to fit in a good schedule and I wanted to balance my engineering classes with my design classes. Um, oh, that's a great question I thought of. You guys probably don't know what product design is. So product design is a mechanical engineering major fused with design principles. So I, I don't really like to take a lot of like full quarters of just engineering or like just art. So it's nice to have a balance. So this quarter I decided to take uh, product design principles, which goes through sustainability design, interaction design, and industrial design. They're teaching us how to be a general designer. Um, which is kind of confusing. Um, I'm also taking creative nonfiction, and the end product will be a very long 12 page essay about my life. I'm taking painting one and mechanics of materials. So I'm doing oil painting, and I'm also learning about. Um, like ductile materials and tensile tests and stress and strain curves. Yes, really, really fun. Um, so week one, I also had voice one, voice two. I had voice two because it's my second time taking voice. And it was really fun and it almost worked out, except I realized later over the weekend that I was really stressed out, and if I could go, get away with not taking a class, it would probably be that class, because it was an extra five hours of homework per week. If I were actually practicing the songs I was going to sing, I'm kind of missing it because it, it's really fun singing, but it's also a little bit stressful to have to prepare music and practice when things are just really crazy. Um, so that happened. Week two, I figured out my schedule and it was just lots of work. And then by the weekend, it was my birthday. I turned 22, I feel really old. Just, just a little bit old because comparatively I am pretty old compared to everyone else on campus. And I live in a hall full of freshmen because it's a four class dorm. And there are a lot of freshmen in my hall, which makes me feel a little bit younger because they're so excited and bubbly. And I like how excited and bubbly they are, which is different from being in a three class dorm where people are a little bit more settled in Stanford, they have their, their group of friends, they're not as willing to socialize. Um, it's just generally a little bit quieter. So I'm really happy that they're bubbly and excited and figuring out Stanford. It's really nice to watch them grow. And yeah, so my birthday happened. I was sick that morning, which sucked, and then I drank about four liters of water, and it was raining, and 
I was kind of miserable, but I went out with my boyfriend and I had shabu shabu and that was really fun. The weekend was just a lot of work too because uh, the career fair was the following weekend. So I was just prepping my resume, looking at jobs, and finishing all of the homework. My P set, my problem set for mechanics and materials takes me about six to nine hours, sometimes six if I'm lucky, but it's really time consuming and painting takes about three or four hours of outside work per week. Uh, English 91, which is a uh, creative nonfiction, takes me sometimes four hours, four to five hours a week, plus some, uh, maybe I'm not being realistic, but there's a lot of reading and responses to readings to think about. And then there's also product design principles, which takes me at least six hours at minimum per week, so it all kind of adds up, which meant really busy weekends where you play like homework catch up. So four classes, it's pretty significant. Yeah. So the following weekend, I was super busy. So that takes us to week three as I prepared for the, the career fair and did homework, went to classes, career fair happened. Over the weekend, really busy, really exhausting. It was from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and I arrived there around 2.30, but all of that morning I was working on my resume and my portfolio site and I hadn't updated my portfolio site since like last year, so I had a lot of things to catch up on took me a really long time and I had to apply to all the companies and understand the positions so that I would seem confident when talking to the recruiters. So I did that and then I was just exhausted and one of my friends decided to go to Walmart and I needed to go because I had to buy some things as well. So I went to Walmart and bought avocados and yogurt and string cheese and just general snacks. So that was good, and I also went to a Chinese store and bought Chinese takeout, which was probably a bad idea because, which was a, probably a bad idea because I felt really disgusting and oily and yeah. Chinese food is good, but it can be pretty unhealthy. So I did that. And then week four happened, basically homework, homework, homework. You get sort of lost in the days and applying, applying, applying to internships, internships, internships. And now it's week five and it's Wednesday. And I have an internship phone interview on Friday. So I've been preparing for that by going on Linda and looking up what it means to be a user experience designer and also updating my website and posting all of my projects somehow. Documenting is really, really important in product design and probably in, in life in general, being able to talk about your projects, but also have the documents to talk through as you explain your project. So I made an InDesign process book talking about my process of designing a lamp for a lamp, yes, for Nambe, which is a design company. And they usually make home goods, like really expensive home goods. The, the point of the, the project was to learn industrial design and it was a three week long project that involved a lot, a lot of sketching. Um, which I have kind of on my wall and I had to scan all of my all of my beautiful drawings onto uh, a PDF file through InDesign. It was pretty fun. It was kind of a lot more work than I thought it would be but I liked it. 
Well, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to end it here and hopefully update you guys on how I'm feeling through the quarter, what I've been up to, and stuff like that. So feel free to check me out on on Nina Gibbs dot Nina got Nina Gibbs dot space. It's a website. So, all right, bye.